Hi, my name is Patrick and this is regarding the NMAT notification. So NMAT notification is out. So we're looking at the salient features of NMAT and what mainly is mentioned in NMAT notification. How does it affect you? We will have a separate video on when should you take the NMAT and any other relevant things that will be useful to you. So let's start with this. We do take under classes for CAT and the other entrance exam. We will have a workshop for NMAT as well. So NMAT 2020 notification. So basically the exams is from 10th October to 19th December. Okay, it's an adaptive test. Adaptive test basically means that uh, the level of difficulty for question keeps on changing. So if you get say correct answers for the first few questions, then later your question level of difficulty will increase. But if you keep on getting wrong, then the level of difficulty will decrease. That's adaptive. So your question difficulty level adapts to whether you get it correct or wrong. It's like the GMAT pattern. Okay, where the level of questions keep changing based on the whether you have got the previous questions correct or wrong. Now, exams can be taken either in test centers or online, both options are available. Limited seats, so it's advisable to register early because a lot of times what happens in NMAT is you don't get the seats to write the exam. It makes sense to book early as far as possible. There's 73 cities, uh, so online proctor test is also available. You can, okay, you can also buy the official paper so that you understand the pattern. If you look at the exam itself, there are three parts, language, cons and logic, like most of the exams so CAT, but yes, a little difference in the type of question that comes. Con is comparatively easier than CAT. Logic question section is comparatively very different from the way the CAT is. CAT is group questions, whereas here's all individual questions. There is also verbal reasoning out here, so it makes different. Even language is quite different because there are RCs, but there's a lot of other type of verbal ability questions uh, and vocabulary questions that is there. So it's quite different from CAT. So you'll have to do a focus study for NMAT if you want to really crack it. Okay, sections are individual time. So there are different times for each section which are there. And you can choose the order. I mean, unlike CAT where the order is fixed here, you can choose the order which you want to write. So you want to start with Max first or English first. And the order we will discuss later on, I mean, in separate video as to which is a good order, which is not a good order, we will come up with a separate video based on your comfort. Coming to the three sections, language, the questions are same in all the three sections, 36, but time is different. Since the language skills are comparatively, you can solve it fast because there are verbal ability questions which you can do it really fast. So time given is 28 minutes, less than a minute per question. Okay, the strategy of what to do and how to write a paper will come across separately. But this will give you a fair idea of the paper. My con 52 minutes for 36 questions. So maximum time for con because it takes time to solve. A lot of people take a lot of time to solve con questions. And logic 40 minutes to solve 36 questions. So this is the breakup of the question time for the each section, which is there. Now, as I said, you could always schedule maybe English first, then max, next logic, or maybe max first, then logic, then English, any way you want. There are various ways to schedule the exam. So once you write the exam, you will immediately get the score like a GMAT. You don't have to wait for all of them to write the exam. You will get your scores. So that will give you a fair idea as to where you stand. So you also will understand whether would you be able to, clear, able to clear the cutoffs. Look, in the previous years, what happened? You could write one more attempt for NM Mumbai, but now NM Mumbai is only taking one attempt. So whichever colleges you are applying to or trying to apply using NMAT score, check out whether they are only taking one attempt or taking two attempts or three attempts. And accordingly, you can decide whether you need to write a re attempt or not. Right, uh, and you will get a scale score and a total score. Each score is varies varies from twelve to one twenty. So if you get all the questions correct, you get one twenty, and the minimum is twelve. Understand that it's not that you get equal marks per question. Even if one question goes wrong, for example, in mathematics, instead of getting full right, if you get even one wrong, your score directly drops to one hundred and ten. Remember, I wrote the in math section. I got a full marks in max. But I also know that if I score one mark, one question wrong, my marks may drop by 10 to 12 marks straight away. It may go to 108 to 110. That's how the scores are. It's not a uniform scale, uniform score, it's a scale score. Scaling happens based on your items. So what's the process? Register for the NMAT exam, MBA.com. Go to MBA.com. Same as the same people who conduct the GMAT exam also do conduct it. You can select five schools out here. You'll have to apply for them separately, but anyway, you can uh, select five schools, upload your photo, photo ID, make the payment, schedule the exam, then choose the center. Okay, whether you want the test center or you want the online, you can decide on that. 
right and then complete application on college website you go to the college website and complete the application now understand that you have to apply separately to the colleges and separately to nmat applying to nmat doesn't mean that you have applied to colleges like unlike cat if you apply to the cat you apply to the ims in nmat it's not so you will have to apply separately to the college so need to apply for nmat and for the college separately also follow the steps mentioned which is there the scores of nmat apply are accepted by 49 colleges as such. so you have enough colleges to apply to look at the colleges that you are looking at should be uh, kg somaya exam bhuvan issue etc which are also not the courses that you are applying to not all courses are normally for exam bhuvan issue they normally take the nmat score for the h for the hr program same way, SPGN normally takes a course course for a specific program so not all courses are available just be careful when you apply to colleges at which course that you apply to documents you require a photo one valid original not expired photo id you require id like it could be passport it could be pan card voters id card or other card whichever so one id which is there and uh, anything that is there for differently able candidate to show that you are differently able candidate you want extra provisions for the same payment of 2800 plus taxes for registration if you want to retake again 2800 plus taxes so retake only if you are sure about it there is no point spending money just for retake if you are sure which colleges you want to apply and they take the second and third attempt you can take a retake else not advisable if you want more reports 300 and rescheduling the exam you have scheduled the exam but you can't give it on that particular day and you want to reschedule it 1200 plus right so nmat exam registration uh, so two step, separate steps so when you apply to colleges it's separate step when you apply to the nmat exam it's separate step so both the steps are separate so ensure that you do both criteria as such so these fees we talked about earlier was for the nmat form but for colleges you will have to apply separately so registration starts uh, main from 1st august onwards as such you can schedule your exam from 1st august onwards the exam date starts on 10th october till 19th december these are dates where you can write the examination so within this period you need to write the exam as far as possible you can also reschedule the retake the exam uh, but that is only after you have given your one attempt then only you can schedule for the retake right so this gives you a fair idea what dates you need to write the exam will come up with a separate video that will help right i hope this video helped you to know what and how We'll come up with videos that will help you with decide uh, to whether to take NMAT or not, or which dates to take, and how to take it, what is the strategy, etc. So, be tuned and do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.